Roma lost to Napoli, unfortunately, 1-0. Uh, to be frank, uh, yeah, I, I know we're a Roma fan, we have bias, but uh, we definitely didn't deserve to lose because till the goal, uh, we were able to control the game. Uh, Atalanta didn't have any big chances. And uh, till that uh, world-class goal, I was feeling that either we're going to get one point, and I was hoping since we're in Rome, uh, we can get the three points. But unfortunately, we considered that amazing goal, and that changed uh, the game, and Napoli got the three points. Uh, now, I want to talk about the post that IFTV posted on Twitter, uh, points versus the big seven. Uh, first, I want to say it should have been the big eight because Udinese uh, is a factor here because uh, they beat Roma 4-0, they beat uh, Inter 3-1, uh, they drew with Atalanta and they drew with Lazio. Although they don't have that great form, past two games in Coppa Italia, they lost 3-2 to Monza and 2-1 to Torino at home. So they might be going through uh, some uh, crisis. Uh, we don't know yet because the next game they're playing against uh, Cremonese and Udinese and Spezia, but the last game before the World Cup, they're playing against Napoli. And hopefully if they get points away from Napoli, it would be a great achievement. Now let's first talk about Roma, then we're gonna compare Roma to the other uh, six teams. Uh, Roma got a point from Juve, uh, we lost to Atalanta, unfortunately. Uh, if you remember, uh, that game, we dominated the game. We had so many chances, but unfortunately, we missed all of our chances. And Atalanta only had one shot on target, and they, they scored. They only had one shot, I think, in the whole game. But they scored, and they won. So um, the, my point is that Atalanta is not... A better team than Roma so hopefully in the second leg when we have our first squad back again because we were missing Dybala in that game as well we can beat Atalanta in the second leg uh, then uh, thank God we beat Inter uh, in San Siro 2-1 which was a great achievement uh, compare, especially compared to the last year last year uh, we played Inter three times and we lost all three times. Uh, first time 3-0, the second time in Coppa Italia 2-0, and the third time uh, in uh, San Siro we lost 3-1. But this year we beat them in San Siro and hopefully uh, in the second leg at uh, Olympico we can beat them again. And the fourth big team that we played uh, Napoli and uh, again uh, as I said in the beginning of the clip we did not deserve to lose this game at least we deserve the game Roma is the only team so far uh, that has been able to stop Napoli for at least 80 minutes okay yeah because we lost it uh, the game and the result matter at the end but uh, we showed that we have character Especially now that we know so many players were injured, like Pellegrini, Matic, and Karsdorp. They were all injured, but they had to play. So that, that's a big uh, moment for me to be proud of them because they did uh, fight for the jersey and the team. So I appreciate that. Now let's take a look at Napoli. Napoli played with Lazio. They beat Lazio, Milan and uh, Roma, so three out of three, but they still haven't played Juve, Inter, Atalanta, and also I like to add Udinese, because Udinese, I'm sure they're gonna give Napoli a hard time, at least they're gonna get a draw, at least that's my guess, but as I said, they don't have a great form past two games, but if they come back, they're gonna be dangerous. Then uh, the second team is Milan. Milan already played against Atalanta, Inter, Napoli, and Juve. 
they got seven points out of 12. So they only lost to uh, Napoli. Uh, they beat Inter and Juve and they draw with uh, Atalanta. Uh, the next time we're going to uh, play Milan, it's in January. It's after the World Cup. By that time, uh, hopefully, for sure, uh, we're going to have Dybala back. We're going to have Celik back. Uh, Karsdorp and Pellegrini won't be injured. Uh, most likely, Wijnaldum will be back. So we're going to have a, a fresh legs and strong squad to go play against Milan. Although Milan is very strong, they are really good. But I think this time we can give them hard time. At least get points. Like uh, make if either we get a draw or maybe possibly win. Uh, because I think we have character this year. Something we were missing last year against Milan and Inter. Now let's take a look at Lazio. Lazio play against Inter, Napoli and Atalanta. Uh, Lazio only lost to Napoli, but they beat Inter and Atalanta. So they're similar to us. Uh, yes, they beat Atalanta, but I think we deserved to win against Atalanta. But the problem was our player, the problem that we keep having for the past 11 games that they have chances, but they cannot score. And hopefully... Uh, in November, by November that we're going to play Lazio, we can't change that. But Lazio still hasn't played against uh, Milan and Juve. They have played against Udinese and they drew, so they lost point there. But I think when they play against Juve and Milan, uh, possibly because Juve is coming back up, but uh, against smaller team, not stronger team, as you can see, Juve only played against Roma and Milan, and they only got one point. So they drew against us at Turin, and they lost to Milan. So Juve is not that strong yet. Uh, they're going to have a hard time catching up because they have to play against Udinese. They have to play against Atalanta, Inter, and Napoli, and Lazio. So they have a hard time. So they have a hard game ahead of them. And uh, uh, let's talk about Inter now. Inter lost all of the big matches uh, against Lazio, Milan, Rome, and Udinese. So they have the worst uh, uh, results so far. But at least they played four out of the seven games. So they have to play Juve, which I think they have a big chance to beat Juve. Then they're going to play Atalanta and uh, Napoli. So we'll see what they do against Napoli and Atalanta. And finally, Atalanta. Atalanta, three big games against Milan, Lazio and Roma. They beat Roma, which they didn't deserve. They didn't deserve to win at all. They beat Lazio and they drew against Milan. So uh, I think they're going to give uh, uh, Inter and uh, Juve a definitely hard time. Also, I forgot to point out they also drew against Udinese. They were leading 2-0, but Udinese came back and got a point away uh, from that match. All right, so my point of talking about these uh, teams is... Roma currently is at the fifth place and uh, behind Roma is Udinese with 21 points, Inter with 21 and Juve with 19. And when I look at the this uh, post, uh, I think Juve has a hard time to catching up since they have to play four tough games. Uh, Inter... Uh, also has to play two tough game, but uh, they have a better form right now since they beat uh, Barcelona and they drew against Barcelona in uh, uh, Barcelona in camp now. They have a better team. And Udinese, it seems like they're starting to crumble, but it's very too soon to say because they only had one bad game in Coppa Italia and one loss against uh, Torino in Serie A. So they may come back up. So uh, 
at least I think till uh, World Cup, till the break, Roma gonna be in the fifth place. But uh, after World Cup, if we finish in the fifth, uh, I'm very positive and optimistic that we're gonna finish in the top four. So that's all I have for today. Forza Roma, die Roma.